Nodians, we're at Icon 2017, the 25th anniversary edition. We have a ton of great stuff to show you today. There is board games, video games, tons of exhibitors around, and it is epic. So, let's get to it. So, Icon started because of a group of role players went to a Fitz gaming convention and said, this was crap, we can do better. And then the next year they did. It's basically what we're trying to do with Icon is, yeah. we're taking a little bit of San Diego Comic Con, a little bit of Gen Con, trying to mash it together because South Africa isn't big enough to do a comic convention and a games convention and a pop culture convention. We've got to put it all together. And we're very, very thrilled and lucky to have Les in our presence. Les, this has been a spectacular success, it always has. We can't believe that we're 25 years in. And what we want to focus on in this conversation are the panel discussions. For us, that is a huge highlight, just in terms of the caliber of the speakers you bring on board, the intimate discussions. Tell us a bit about that, I believe it's your brainchild. Sure. Uh, I've been fortunate enough over the last few years to actually go to San Diego Comic Con, spend a lot of time at Gen Con over the last few years, and it's a key focus for them especially for Gen Con. You go over to Gen Con, and while it's 300,000 square meters of floor space, you could spend four days in panel discussions with key people learning stuff like, how do I create a better monster? How do I self-publish? What are the tips and tricks I need to get into the industry? There's very much a community support aspect when it comes to a panel, and that's what we wanted to try and do. We have the pleasure of interviewing the one and only Mr. James Al Sata. Al, as the Geeknodians know, stands for legendary. No. So James, tell us, <laughs> absolute honor to be here with you, chatting to you. Likewise. Tell us a bit about your experiences in South Africa and especially what's been happening this weekend at uh, ICON. Well, it's really been amazing. I mean, this is my first uh, overseas convention, actually. Um, you know, mostly of my, I do North American stuff. Um, so I kind of had no idea what to expect down here. You know, I was really excited to come down because obviously, you know, a chance to go to Africa. Um, but I had no idea, you know, what the geek culture was like down here, if anybody would know who I was. Um, and then I showed up and everybody's been super nice. Everybody's been really into it. Like the panels have been amazing. Like everyone here is so, interested in the hobby and invested and you know wants to talk just talk with people about how life is different from South Africa versus the states where I live. In terms of the panel discussions anything stand up for you? Oh geez I mean the big thing is just how much everybody there has been really into it you know the questions have been really amazing um, people really kind of do their research I've seen a number of people come to like every one of the panels and I've done probably 10 panels so far uh, so it's really fun to be able to you know, over the course of the weekend, sort of go beyond the 101 into the 201, you know, sort yeah, of level yeah. stuff and really, really start talking about, like, the nitty gritty of the craft. Anything that you'd like to share with the South African geek community, just from your experience from this weekend, any closing remarks? Honestly, I've just been so impressed by the sort of tight-knit nature of the community and everybody is so friendly, so if you're on the fringes, unsure whether you want to be a part of all this, like, the people here are really welcoming. You should come out to ICON, you should come out to local conventions and just get involved because I think it's set to grow. This is Vampy Bit Me, and um, my real name's Linda Lee. So I've been cosplaying for about two decades now. Um, I really love it. The main thing um, I really love about cosplay is actually getting to be able to learn new skills for every costume, um, such as this one. Yeah, this this is a game character, um, and I play this game religiously, and um, I'm about 150 hours, I think 160 hours, and I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna use it, um, use this as reference uh, to make my costume. To be quite honest with you, I really, I really did not know what to expect because a lot of people in the U.S. just think that South Africa is like, you know, um, safaris and cheetahs or something crazy. And when I came here, I was blown away. Like, I still can't fathom how awesome everyone is. And I'm like, uh, so I want another week here to eat all of the bunny chow and stuff like that. So it's been great. I love it. 